Welcome back to Patterns for Pirates uh, Holiday Freebies 2023. I am very excited about this pattern, but if you know anything about me, I say that I'm excited about everything. Um, this is the Snowfall Shrug. It is a zero waste pattern, which means that we use every inch of the yardage that is required for this pattern, and it's pretty stinking cool if you ask me. So we can get into it. Um, the pieces that you need are very simple because of how the pattern is constructed. So you're going to make fun of me maybe a little bit here. I made this teeny tiny not to scale piece whatsoever so it could fit on my screen. Um, <laughs> the actual pattern piece is I think 26 inches long and takes up the whole width of your yardage. And I wanted to show you, um, so just like I said, it is a zero waste pattern, meaning this cuff piece is cut out of the corner of the main shrug piece. So when you cut this, it's both your pattern piece, but it's also um, the excess that you're cutting off of the main part of the bodice, if that makes any sense, just like here. So here's our main bodice, and here are two cuff pieces in teeny tiny form. You'll also need some sort of cutting tool. Um, you can use your rotary blade or scissors, whichever you want, and then of course some pins or clips to hold everything together while we head to the sewing machine. Let's get moving. <music> Again, like I said, uh, I made this a teeny, teeny, tiny piece. Sometimes it's just easier for tutorials to make it in mini scale so you can see the whole thing and I don't have to back my camera up too far. Um, so the construction of this is incredibly easy and I think you'll be excited to see how fast it goes together. You wanna lay your piece with the front side or the right side up facing you. And we're gonna take this corner here we're going to fold it up and meet, so you're going to meet the side piece along the top edge, and then you're also going to meet these two uh, cutout seams, which we cut the cuff piece from, so they should be exactly the same size. And then uh, go ahead and add some pins or clips, and we are going to sew along this edge right here, and we're going to do it on the other side, so we might as well do it all at the same time, right? So. Just fold it with right sides together so they all match each other. Again, here are going to be your sleeve openings, and this is going to be your shoulder, and then this is going to be your body opening. So it's a pretty sweet little way to create a very quick shrug, or if you want to call it a bolero, or whatever you want to refer to it as. So we're just going to sew with half inch seam allowances right along this top edge right there. All right, here's our cute tiny version of the snowfall shrug with the top seams sewn up. And so you can just flip it right side out. Again, yours will be a lot larger <laughs> because I can't even remember what the percentage was, but I shrunk it way down so I can fit it on my screen. So it should look like this to you. And the next thing that we're going to do is just go around and hem all of this outer edge right here because this is going to be your body opening so you want to hem it at half inch seam allowance all the way around i would definitely recommend using hem tape i'm not going to on this tiny one but i will have it on a bigger scale <laughs> for the one that i'll be attaching the cuffs to so go ahead and just hem around this entire outer opening see i've switched to a full scale now <laughs> so you can stop thinking i'm ridiculous Anyway, uh, here we are. I've got my whole outer edge hemmed, and we're going to set the shrug piece aside for a minute. We're going to go ahead and grab our cuff pieces. And the cuff piece is installed just like, or are sewn together just like uh, typical cuff pieces. So with the right side facing up, we're going to fold it in half with the stretch going this way and the, we're meeting the two long edges together. And then we're going to go ahead and fold it 
off one more time and sew a stitch along this edge right here. Here we are with it sewn. You're just going to want to flip it right side out and get all your edges matched up to each other. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with the other cuff. So fold it in half and then fold it in half again and sew along these side raw edges. Cuff number two is done. I'm going to get it all situated here. Set our cuffs aside for just a second because we're headed back to our shrug and you're going to want to find the sleeve opening and we are going to run two lines of basting stitches all the way around the opening here so we can adjust it to our cuff. The cuffs are pretty tight and this opening is a lot larger than the cuff itself so you unless you have incredibly stretchy fabric you won't be able to stretch the cuff big enough. So we just need to gather the sleeve down small enough to fit on the cuff. So let's go ahead and run two lines of gathering stitches. All right, I went ahead and added gathering stitches to both sleeves. I'm just going to show you on the one and it, you know, you'll get the, you'll catch the drift. <laughs> so I've got my two lines of really long stitches here and I'm going to just grab. Oh, I made all my threads all crazy and wonky here. All right. I'm going to grab the two from the front here. And I am just going to pull and cinch my sleeve down, my sleeve opening down until it is the size of the sleeve. Actually, I tend to scrunch it a little more than probably what it needs. And then I compare it against my sleeve cuff opening. So here it is a little too small. So we're going to open that back up a little bit. And look, we've got our sleeve opening and our sleeve cuff about the same size here. So I am going to grab my sleeve and my cuff and I don't know why I do it like this <laughs> I stick my hand inside and I line up the uh, seam line against the opposite side of the seam line here pull it on through and get all my threads in so I can manipulate them if I need to and then try and get all of your raw edges aligned against one another evenly. So sometimes it takes a little finessing. And there we go. So now our sleeve is over top of our, um, I'm sorry, our cuff is over top of our sleeve opening. And I'm going to sew with a half inch seam allowance all the way around this. And then um, I'll be right back. All right, we've got our cuff attached and you just want to flip it out, right side out, and remove any of the gathering stitches that you have hanging out in here still. Um, I like, gathering is my least favorite part of sewing. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is this. I love the look of gathering. I hate doing the gathering and I hate removing. You know, there's just some things in, in sewing that you don't enjoy specifically, and this is definitely one of them for me. And then we're just going to repeat with the other side, the same exact same steps. So I already added my gathering stitches. We're going to pull it up to cinch that in, gather it in. So it's the same size as our cuff. And you want to do it carefully so you don't break your gathering stitches. And then here again, my method, my madness, stick my hand in the cuff <laughs> and make sure I've got my seam going. Line it all up. Kind of weasel it around. And we're going to go sew around the outside of that. Okay, we've got our cuff 
sewn up. We're just going to flip it right side out away from the bodice and get all of our gathering stitches out. And then, if you can believe it or not, you are finished. Well, there we go. You've got an adorable three quarter sleeve shrug that is so quick and easy to make and takes less than a yard. So it's an excellent scrap buster if you've got any of those like random one yard pieces floating around. Um, it makes a great gift because it's actually one size uh, since it actually just falls across your shoulders and then just over your arms. It doesn't need to fit the rest of your body. It's just meant more of as a, again, like a bolero. So it fits wonderfully for so many people. Anyway, there we are. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you love the pattern and I'm so excited to see what you make. I hope that you share on Facebook or Instagram and tag us and we hope you have a happy holidays. Thanks.